Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff with Winston Smith and the Worldwide Hippies News Team. Welcome to Hippie TV News and Stuff for the week of May 24th. Brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com, I am Winston Smith. Pink whistles and football? Ted Kaczynski is back in the news. Men in Black will be coming to a grade school near you. Asshole of the Week, P.E. Nolan with her activism report and more. First, our top story. The time and hunger revolution. Greece, Yemen, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Northern Africa, Syria, China, and now Spain. I've never been to Spain, but I kind of like to go there. Here with her report is Savannah Smith. Thanks, Dad. I mean, Winston. Demonstrations are continuing across Spain in protest of the country's austerity measures and failure to tackle unemployment. Spanish protesters remained camped in a Madrid square on Saturday after all-night festivities in defiance of a 48-hour ban ahead of local elections. The peaceful demonstrations are yet another example of the time and hunger revolution that is spreading across the globe. In Spain, fortunately, it's been nonviolent as the police and corporate stormtroopers were not ordered to intervene. Spain has the highest level of unemployment among people 19 to 25. Cuts in public services, loss of support for the elderly, and a housing crisis, all caused by the financial collapse of 2008, along with debts owed to the same banks that caused the collapse, are the very same cause and effect scenarios playing out across the globe. Expect to see much more unrest across Europe this summer, Winston. Back to you. Thanks, Savannah. And this from RivalHigh.com. Washington officials finally disciplined for charity pink whistles. The Washington Officials Association is an organization of school football referees and officials in the Pacific Northwest. These guys tried to do a good thing last fall. They wore pink whistles to show support for breast cancer research during a football game. On top of that, they all donated their game checks to the cause. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, then came along the head of the organization, Mr. Stodal, to say, hey, you guys are out of uniform. You're not up to code, boys. You should have asked my permission, and because you didn't, I'm going to fine you. After a huge uproar from fans, the commission backed off. But now, after school's out, Mr. Stodal chose to change his teeny tiny little mind and find the refs two game checks after all. So if you see Mr. Stodal, please blow your whistle or honk your horn at him, but do not throw pink paint-filled balloons at him, please. And here is P.E. Nolan. What's going on in Lincoln Square, Trish? Thanks, Winston. Earlier this month, the other 98% joined local activists to present Gorilla Drive-In at Lincoln Center. Reverend Billy Taylor led a marching band into the plaza where about a thousand people gathered to watch a film about the Koch brothers. While everyone's attention was focused in the the plaza, uh, activists climbed up a ladder and posted a big sticker saying, I am the Tea Party's wallet over David Koch's name on the ballet theater. None of these demonstrations ever appear in the mainstream media. Activists depend on us to spread the news that all across the country, pockets of resistance are growing stronger and stronger. Simply clicking the like button or the share button on Facebook and retweeting can help the resistance. Each one teach one. Or like we say at Worldwide Hippies, changing the world one mind at a time. Amen, hallelujah. Earth, hallelujah. Earth, hallelujah. Well, I'm, a, I'm at the commons now, amen. Back to you, Winston. Thanks, Trisha. Keep spreading the news, people. Federal Secret Service, Service agents interrogate a 13-year-old Tacoma boy over his Facebook postings about Osama bin Laden. The postings to show concern for president's safety he warned President Obama to watch out for suicide bombers. Exactly one week later, he was called into the principal's office of his junior high school. When the patriotic young man arrived at the office, he was met by suited-up men in black, Secret Service agents, and dark glasses. Will Smith, I mean the unnamed crime fighters, proceeded to inform this now terrified and visually upset 13-year-old that his posting was considered to be a threat to the President of the United States. School official toadies admitted that the child was first interrogated by the Dark Avengers, 
Then his mother was alerted by security guards because the principal was unavailable. They had it spelled out to lunch. Reportedly, district officials also admitted that they chose not to wait for the minor's mom to arrive, not because a big brother enforcers were there, but that they thought she wouldn't take the call seriously. You get that? Hello, ma'am. Your son is okay, but could you come down to school? We'd like to speak to you. Mom responds, fuck you, I don't believe anyone hangs up. Sounds totally reasonable to me. Actually, the kid's mom became incensed when she was informed about the half-hour inter interrogation. I just about lost it, she said. My 13-year-old son is supposed to be in a safe, secure classroom, and instead he's being interrogated without my knowledge or consent privately. As she arrived at the school, the interrogation process had just ended. The child and his mother were then informed by the agents that he would not be facing any charges. The boy's mom hopes that the publicity brings attention to what she and her son had endured and the attention of a good pro bono lawyer. Oh, it's time for our Asshole of the Week. And this week, it's Dominic Strauss-Kahn, head of the IMF. That stands for International Monetary Fund. And that stands for the World Bank, which stands for the Federal Reserve, which stands for the fuckers that run the world. He was arrested last week on suspicion of assault, unlawful imprisonment, mouth rape, and other crimes. This guy is a major world player, and his arrest gives the rest of the common folk a rare glimpse at the type of organisms that actually exist outside the societal perimeters that most of us live between. Khan, Khan, Chaka Khan. is the real man. I mean, the man. The powerful, all-exploitive, and predatory species that feed on the corpses of countries, people, and to be counted, along with other powerful elite, as boogeymen of Armageddon. Mr. Khan, Chaka Khan. It seems believes that he, as a king, should have the right to take what he wants, when he wants it, and from whom he wants it. That his prick is so special because it's attached to him that a single working mother, an immigrant, and menial worker should pleasure it on demand. Well, it is my opinion that something went wrong last week. Maybe it was an honest policeman or a sleeping watchdog for the king, but something started the wheels of justice moving in an opposite direction from where justice usually spins for the untouchables that rule the world. And Khan got busted, exposed, pants down, in action. Maybe he can use his powerful friends to scare the woman to obscurity, as he's probably done many times before. Remember, this guy has a huge history of preying on women, and he was in line to be the president of, of France, so much for an informed electorate. Or maybe his power can be used to make her look like the rapist or his influence used to sway a judge to dismiss all this petty stuff. I mean, after all, this is just the maid we're talking about here. No real victim, and she's an immigrant also, so she isn't even really a person, right? Already special treatment was given to Khan. <laughs> after a judge denied him bail, within 24 hours he was back in court and now is out on bail. He's living in a luxury apartment, one of his wife's, sucking champagne and complaining that he's the victim. But for a short time, the lights are on, and while they are, we see you, Mr. Khan. Chuck, 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 your gone. ugly, hairy ass and cock, your sperm on the floor where your victim spit it. And while we can see you clearly, we can point to you and say that you, Mr. Chuck, Khan, chuck, 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 are a worldwide hippie asshole dude, and you're a pig. And that's it for Hippie TV news and stuff for this week. Please check out WorldWideHippies.com for more news and stuff updated every two hours. And make a donation or visit our store so we can keep up the howl for peace and justice and independent media. And we will see you next Monday.